Yo, before I post these clips of your man Lab McConkey doing his damn thing at the combine, I have to let people know, at least most people who have been following the channel for its duration knows that, hey, I have some history with Lab McConkey. I first did a video on him when he first committed to the University of Georgia, and obviously I covered his entire career at the University of Georgia, and I've been trying to fight stereotypes for this guy the entire time because people keep doing these goofy comparisons to him with people like uh, Wes Welker and Julian Edelman, even Hunter Renfro. While those comparisons are aight, right, there are much better comparisons for this kid uh, because you're not taking into account his severe athleticism, his ability to get in and out of his transitions with some extra sauce on it. Like, come on, you have to take into account that and we have to stop doing these lazy ass race based comparisons uh, because that ain't the deal. People need to stop being lazy. But this is how you erase that, completely silence those people like that and change and flip the narrative that quickly. Check this out. Pay attention to how his comp started as one of those lazy ass Daniel Jeremiah comps. But then once they took the guesswork out of it, just ended it into a computer, it ended up as a comp more commiserate to exactly how he plays the game. Let me know what you think about that. All right. And we'll get into more of the quarterback drills, but you're looking at Lad McConkey from Georgia. And this is a great example of the testing and the tape matching up because he is so quick and so fast. And when you watch him on tape, the stuff that jumps out, just that route polish. You talk about being able to tempo routes, to change speeds. He gets in and out of breaks so cleanly. And watching all the top corners in the SEC, I think he got all of them. And double moves. There's a real polish and poise to his game. And then after the catch, you saw the low 4 4 40. Uh, it doesn't come as a surprise when you watch him on tape, change directions and get up the top speed and running away from uh, one of the most athletic groups of competition that anybody saw. Brandon Stokely in this building here was someone who could play outside as well as inside and had the same route polish. Now you get a little more juice, a little more speed with McConkey, but I, I think some people have labeled him as he's going to be a slot rich. I think he can hold up outside or inside. Now, did you say that I see a, a tweet recently where you were studying the corners? Correct. And then every the, 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 what flashed <laughs> while you're watching the corners was him? That's what like, happens when you're just watching corner after corner after corner after right. corner. And I'm like, man, he played really well, except God, McConkey got him. And the next guy, really good, except McConkey. Yeah, the bragging rights aren't official yet. Well, Lad McConkey. He is fun to watch. He's Four, an outstanding four, route runner. Shows he's got a little top speed to go along with it. Wow. Lad McConkey. Yeah, he, he is fun. <laughs> Ooh, Lad. I was talking to one of the teams today, and they said, we're talking about McConkey. He said, I think he'll go middle. Of the, I think he'll go early to middle second round, but God forbid the Chiefs take him at 32. <laughs> <laughs> right? They can all run and they can all catch. This is McConkey. How about McConkey? We were looking this up. Charles, McConkey, let's go back to 2021 Georgia. That offense was George Pickens, Adonai Mitchell, Ladd McConkey, Darnell Washington, Brock Bowers. Wow. <laughs> with the offensive line with Broderick Jones and Marius Mims and Cedric Van Pran, and the running back was James Cook. Were they good? I think they were pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that they're pretty good. And McConkey told me that when he first got there, all the guys were looking at him and asking who the scout team what guy was, who's the walk-on. And he said, I had to learn that first year, but after that, they figured it out. Yeah. He's one of those guys that's a line counter. When he first shows up, you're counting the line to try and get to go up against him. After, after one rep, you want to avoid Ladd McConkey in one-on-ones. There for McCaffrey, here's McConkey. Again, 17, 18 seems to be the, uh, the number where most of these guys settle in. I look at him and I think he's going to be a difference in how these guys do it. McConkey's straight as an arrow right down the line and just holds his speed, holds that 18 miles per hour pretty much the whole time. Known Devin a little while. <laughs> nice catch. There's Charles right there. I will make way, so. Known Devin a little while. There's Charles right there. 
think we might also be on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a ranch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Making his way into the city's bowl game in San Diego. Um, and obviously he wasn't going to play in that bowl ride, but he was there in attendance. Nice ball there. Is that Devin? That was Devin. I got it up as fast as I could. Did you do that and then throw a crow hop in at the <laughs> <Yeah>. end? <laughs> oh, look out. It's not a bad ball, though. For ball. Here's Bo Nix to McConkey. Former Auburn quarterback to the Georgia wide receiver. And talking about the goal line fade here, Rich, which has been one of the favorite additions to the route schedule here at the Combine. Here's Garrett Wilson. Talked about CeeDee Lamb doing this as well. How about the adjustment, the mm -hmm. toe tap, a little bit of green there to be able to get it down. And if you've watched the Jets as much as you have, you've seen this a bunch. Look at the separation on that to be able to adjust and, and get that one down. He had some amazing fade catches, including in the opening game of the year. Yes, that was uh, <laughs> incredible catch. Quite a grab. Here's the numbers. Now, look, Lad McConkey's not going to go where Garrett Wilson went in this draft, but it is interesting when you look at the numbers, how they stack up. It speaks to his athleticism. That is an incredible, uh, close, incredibly close comp right there, huh? What more can I say? Top billing. Top. Billing.